Of course, no one wants to be bitten by a crocodile or a shark. But what about smaller animals? There are creatures we would never think of as potentially dangerous. Quite frankly, no one wants to be bitten by anyone at all, but some of the catfish are worse than others. Ten of the creatures on our list can bite a person, but that's the last thing you'd ever want. Forget about big cats, giant fish with razor-sharp teeth, and anything that hides under your bed at night make sure none of it can ever bite you. 10. Domestic Cats A dog can mutilate a person, so most people are wary when they cross paths with an aggressive dog. Cats, on the other hand, don't seem like much of a threat unless they are one of the larger members of the family. Domestic cats are small, and their claws pose a greater danger than their mighty but tiny jaws. When a house cat bites you, it does little harm. Its sharp teeth certainly won't give you the pleasure of touching your skin, but in most cases you won't be left with a terrible wound. The real problem resulting from a bite is the bacteria in her mouth. All animals have bacteria in their saliva, and cats are no exception. Their bites almost always cause infection in humans. One such disease is caused by the protobacterium Bartonella hensiale. If it enters the bloodstream, you have a very high chance of contracting cat scratch disease. There are an average of about 22,000 cases each year in the United States, and they almost always come from kittens. Cats are also carriers of Pastorella multacida, which can become dangerous if left untreated. 9. Brazilian wandering spiders Most people avoid spiders like the plague because arachnophobia is incredibly common. Nevertheless, there are spiders in the world, and there's no getting away from them. And from time to time a person has to deal with them. Most of the time, these insects prefer to avoid humans, but they will bite you if they feel threatened. Most spider bites are just as painful as other insect bites, but not all. The most dangerous spider bite in the world is that of the Brazilian wandering spider. These are aggressive and very poisonous insects that live in Brazil and other parts of Central and South America. If they feel threatened, they will bite you. In doing so, they can vary the amount of venom injected. Regardless of the degree of poisoning, the bite of the Brazilian traveling spider is very painful. Its fangs dig deep into your flesh, causing an intense burning pain in the area. You will then experience sweating and goose bumps on your skin. After 30 minutes, you may experience changes in blood pressure, nausea, abdominal cramps, hypothermia, blurred vision, and symptoms resembling shock. In some cases, men will have prolonged painful erections. The most serious bites can be fatal if left untreated, but these spiders rarely inject enough venom to do so. Instead, they leave some for later and reward you with an excruciating bite you won't soon forget. 8. Arizona Venomous Predator Gila monsters are the only venomous lizards found in the United States, although they can be found down south in Mexican Sonora. Generally, these animals are slow by nature, so your chances of being bitten by one are slim. These lizards are relatively long, growing up to 36 centimeters in length, although about 20% of that is tail. They have a large head with small eyes and a strong snout. They prey on small mammals, birds, snakes, insects, and any carrion they find. They produce venom and glands at the end of their lower jaw, which they inject into their prey. The Gila monster purposefully chews its prey to get the venom where it wants it to go. Yes, they don't just bite once. They chew their prey with long, sharp teeth. These teeth can cling to tissue, and ripping the biting monster off is quite problematic. They will hold on as long as they want, and it will hurt. Very painful. The venom of the Arizona venomous borer is dangerous, though unlikely to result in death. Its intended victim will surrender, and it will be a terribly painful experience for the individual. 7. The bullet ant in the rainforests of Central and South America, there is a species of ant commonly known as the slug ant. These are large ants, growing up to 30 mm in length, making them one of the largest members of this family. Bullet ants sometimes come in contact with people, and when they do, chances are someone will be bitten. That's the last thing you need because they have the highest pain index on the Schmidt scale. Schmidt described the pain of a bullet ant bite as pure, intense, vivid pain. Like walking over a blazing coal with an 8-inch nail in your heel. 
The bite is undoubtedly painful, and many compare it to a gunshot, hence the name. You will feel waves of searing, throbbing, all-consuming pain at the sight of the bite that will not subside for up to 24 hours. Fortunately, a bullet bite won't kill you, unless you're allergic. Although you might very well want to die just to make the pain stop. 6. Monkeys While people in the West aren't too concerned about being bitten by a monkey anytime soon, primates are quite common in South America and Asia. Monkeys are a problem in densely populated areas, including Brazil, India, and Indonesia, so there are more people at risk of being bitten than you might think. For their size, monkeys are strong, so you don't want to be attacked by one of them. Their primary means of attack is a bite, and most species have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. A monkey's bite will cause tissue damage, but the most serious threat comes from the bacteria and viral pathogens that have settled in its mouth as a home. Like most mammals, monkeys can carry and transmit rabies, which will 100% end in death if left untreated. Symptoms include hallucinations and partial paralysis, so it's no picnic. However, it is not necessarily the greatest threat, as the disease is treatable. Monkeys can contract monkey herpes through a bite. It can lead to encephalomyelitis, which leads to inflammation of the brain. It is also accompanied by paralysis, vision loss and vomiting. The dangers are real, so if you are ever bitten by a monkey, seek medical attention immediately. 5. Tick No one wants to be bitten by ticks, but they are more often seen as annoying parasites than as potential threats. Interestingly, unlike everything else on this list, when a tick bites a person, they are unlikely to feel it or even notice it. Insects inject an anesthetic into the skin as soon as they pierce it to avoid detection. After piercing the skin, the tick buries its head as deep as possible, leaving part of its legs and most of its body outside. It then begins to feed on your blood. While the tick's head is inside, biting into your fluids, it passes some of its own fluid to you, and therein lies the real problem. Ticks can cause many diseases, depending on what part of the world you are in. They can infect a person with Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Q Fever, Southern Tick Rash, Anaplasmosis, Babesiosis and Lyme Disease, which is transmitted through the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi. Lyme disease is the biggest threat most often caused by a tick bite. Among other things, it can cause severe headaches, facial nerve paralysis, arthritis, tendon and muscle pain, palpitations, dizziness, and nerve pain. 4. Rattlesnakes. The bite of any snake will be an unforgettable experience in most people's lives. After all, snakes have two long hypodermic needles capable of injecting large amounts of venom. Sure, the fangs are quite unpleasant, but the real pain comes from the venom, and it can be brutal. In addition to the potentially lethal types of venom, there are those that cause serious tissue damage and pain. The most dangerous is the secretion of rattlesnakes, which inject venom with one of the highest levels of toxicity found of any snake in the Western Hemisphere. When the venom is injected, it affects your tissues and blood immediately. It is hematoxic, so it causes coagulopathy and necrosis. Essentially, no matter where you are bitten, your tissue begins to die off while it is still a part of you, and your blood forgets how to clot properly. You can die from a rattlesnake bite if it hits a particularly dangerous spot, such as the jugular vein, but most bites are not fatal. An antidote exists, and if administered within 6 to 48 hours of poisoning, you and your tissues will be safe. Nevertheless, severe pain is only one of the many gifts a rattlesnake is willing to give its victims. 3. Setsi fly For many people around the world, the fly is nothing more than a pest. This is a little different in sub-Saharan Africa, where you can find the tsetse fly. These small two-wing flies are about the same size as house flies, but unlike the more annoying variety, tsetse flies bite and feed on blood. When a tsetse fly bites you, you will feel a slight pain and irritation in the area, but that is not the real problem. Like many other insects, the tsetse fly is a vector. It carries the parasitic organism that causes African trypanosomiasis, also known as African sleeping sickness. If you get African sleeping sickness, you will experience neurological and meningoencephalitic, resembling meningitis and encephalitis, symptoms. It can lead to changes in behavior, loss of coordination, and disruption of sleep cycles, hence the name. 
Treatment is usually successful if given before neurological symptoms appear. Over the years, the disease has become easier to treat and fatalities have decreased, but they still occur. If left untreated, the disease becomes 100% fatal, and thousands of people will die from it each year. 2. People Yes, humans, not zombies, are some of the most dangerous creatures that can bite you. Of course, that doesn't mean that a child biting another on the playground is necessarily dangerous, well, except for skin damage. However, a human bite can be life-threatening for several reasons. Humans have about 700 species of bacteria in their mouths. Although they float safely in our saliva, they can cause blood flow problems. Other animals transmit various diseases, but not everything carried by an animal can infect a person. The problem when one person bites another is that any disease the biter carries can infect the victim. This includes everything from rabies and tetanus to hepatitis and HIV. In addition, you are also likely to have an infection spreading from the bite site. On the one hand, a human bite can cause deadly disease and infection. However, on the other hand, it's not the biggest threat. After all, there aren't that many people running around to bite their own kind. However, if you somehow end up on another person's menu, you should seek medical attention immediately. 1. Mosquito A mosquito bites with a highly specialized six-part mouth. You might think that they just stick their proboscis into the skin and start sucking blood, but they only do this after their lower and upper jaws pierce the skin. In a sense, they are biting you, although you will never feel it. Mosquito bites are not often noticed by the victim in the process, so it is usually too late to stop them when you have seen the bloodsucker. Despite their ability to mask the pain from their victim, the bite itself is not the greatest threat these little bloodsuckers bring. Mosquitoes are often called the most dangerous animals in the world, and it's a well-deserved title. They are prolific vectors capable of transmitting many diseases, including dengue fever, chikungunya, yellow fever, Zika virus, West Nile virus, Japanese encephalitis, and malaria. Ultimately, malaria is the most dangerous to humans, as it kills about 400,000 people each year. Mosquitoes kill more people than any other animal, including ourselves. So those itchy blisters are not just a minor irritation. In many parts of the world it is a constant and deadly threat.